everyone it's Melissa today I wanted to um, talk about something that I use quite frequently in its individual lashes uh, but I put them on and use them almost like lash extensions I have had lash extensions before and I really really did like them uh, but uh, you know the upkeep is hard and time-consuming and expensive so uh, what I have, what I did, I have always done before I got the lash extensions, and I do, you know, since then, is I kind of create my own through using the little individual lashes that you buy at the drugstore. So I'm going to kind of show you how I do it. Uh, the lashes that I have on right now, uh, I just have just a few on the outer edge, and I put them on last Tuesday. And today is Monday, so I'm on my sixth day of them. Um, and so what I'll do is I'll zoom in close, and then you can kind of see. I've got them out here. And out here. And they're still there. I do have a little mascara on. So, um, when I put them on, I did a few little... Um, you know, I filmed it, so I'll show a few little excerpts here from uh, when I did it. What you'll, the products or the, the things that you'll need are, you'll need some lashes. I got these at CVS. Um, these are not the ones actually that I have on. These are just some other ones. I usually get either um, Andrea or Ardell, and this one doesn't say what it's on, but they're, these are the Flare Medium Black. And uh, you'll need some tweezers, just regular tweezers to grab them with. And you'll need the glue. Now this is, um, this is Lash Tight Adhesive by Ardell. It's a clear liquid and it's like a semi-permanent glue. It's not a permanent glue, of course. But it's more than the, you know, the strip lashes that you put on with the white glue or the black glue. This is a clear glue. It's like a, it's like a gel. And um, it makes it last, I guess, probably up to two weeks. Um, so you'll need that. And then when you decide you want to take them off, I got this at CVS. It, you can buy a whole kit of the lashes and some of the glue and then some of the, the stuff that you take it off with. This is called Lash Free, and it's by Andrea, just a little tiny bottle. And you just, you know, put it on there and on the roots and then you know, work it off. I've never had any trouble getting them off. If for some reason, what I tend to do is leave them on and just keep trimming them until they just fall off on their own. And they'll usually fall off within, usually about 10 days. So, um... Uh, what I always like to do is, well, let me show you the lash first. So what I do is I just take it, just take it, pull it off. Make sure my glue is on just a flat plastic surface. I usually use an old eyelash container. And then right here, you can see where it's kind of curved right through here. There. On this outer part of the eyelash, this is the inner part of the eyelash. This is what goes against your own, uh, that lays on top of your own eyelashes. I kind of drag it through, and I'll have a demonstration of it. I drag it through and get it kind of from the bottom right here onto the very end, and then lay it on top of my eyelashes. So that's the way I do it, and I will demonstrate um, right now how I do it. Okay, I... Uh, Hope you can stand to look at me. <laughs> no makeup on and my hair wild as it can be. I think I left it up in the towel too long and it got too curly to straighten, so I just let it curl. Okay, um, the first thing that you want to do in this is to make sure that your eyelashes and around your eyes, especially your eyelashes and the base of your eyes, your eyelids are clean with free of any makeup. So what, take an oil-free, makeup cleanser. I like the Neutrogena wipes and wipe all around the area. OK, 
okay, get off every little bit of makeup, oils, don't, uh, the morning you're going to put these on, don't use any, um, don't use any, uh, eye moisturizer or, you know, eye products or anything. Okay. Now you've got that off. Now what you want to do is get this off because it could leave any kind of residue too. I usually do this in the bathroom and so I would splash my eyes just, you know, with just plain water and then pat it dry. So what I'll do is I'll just use this. It's just water on here. So you want the last step just to be water. Okay, so you make sure that it's just really good and dry around through there. Normally I would dry with the towel, but I forgot my towel. <clears throat> Next thing I do, okay, it's very, it has no oil whatsoever on it, and it's very uh, clean and dry. My eyelashes and all around my eyes and the base. Okay, so I've got a few over on this eye. So what you're going to do is take on the very outside, I'm going to add a little bit longer ones. So I've poured my glue on just a flat surface here. I'll pour a little bit more and show you. Okay. And I've got it right here just on my flat surface. So now I'll take some of one of the eyelashes. I'm going to take one of the longer ones down here with a um, just some tweezers, just some regular tweezers. I'm going to grab it, grab it right here. can see it and see how it kind of curves there and it's got a little tip on the end um, what I like to do is not only do I kind of dip the tip but what I really do what I really like to do is take a little bit of the bottom part and then just kind of drag it through if that makes sense that way you get some glue on the bottom underneath of this lash here that will adhere to your eyelash and it will really adhere so and then you just then you just lay it down okay so that is how I put on uh, sort of lash extensions you can do a full set you can do them as long as you want to so uh, thanks for watching this i appreciate it and the reason i did it without makeup on is because it really you really before you put your makeup on you want to let it dry you want to get out of the shower in the morning make sure you know everything is wiped off and um, everything is all no eye creams or anything like that and you want to make sure it's as smooth as it can be then do your eyelashes and then do your hair do your make you know do uh, do other things, get dressed and everything, do your makeup last. That way you want to give it a good amount of time to, for that glue to dry before you start, you know, trying to put eyeshadow on and stuff. So, uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. So, I hope that that is helpful. Uh, like I said, you can usually get at least a week to 10 days wear out of them without having to take them off or before they start falling off. Now, the way you take care of them, uh, you cannot, and you can put as many on as you want. I, I tend to do about three or four on the outer edge right there. Um, so, uh, the way you take care of them is when you're in the shower, don't let the shower hit directly on your eyes. You know, you kind of, you wash your face and, and gently, you know, rinse your face off without it direct, the shower directly hitting your eyelashes. Uh, you cannot use, or I wouldn't use, um, waterproof mascara because what, you know, taking off the waterproof mascara will probably make the eyelashes get too loose. So to take it off, you know, it's not going to be waterproof mascara. To take off your mascara, just splash your face and of course the mascara will, you know, get underneath your eyes. And then just take a, like something like a Neutrogena makeup remover cloth and gently wipe up here and wipe up here without wiping on your eyelashes. But you can usually get the mascara off. If it's not waterproof, you can get the mascara off just by splashing your face. That's why I said don't use waterproof mascara with it. I think that's it as far as taking care of it. So you should get some good wear out of it. I also want to give a little shout out to Susan W. I will link her channel below. I had recently won uh, her giveaway and it was the, it was the Lorac Mega Pro 
and uh, you know you've all seen it but I just thought it was such a generous giveaway to do and I just felt so blessed and so fortunate to win it but she's the reason I'm mentioning her to, uh, also to say thank you again and just to tell her how much I'm, in, I'm enjoying this palette but uh, you know she's such a kind and a sweet person and she's um, recently lost her dog and uh, you know when your kids are grown and out of the house uh, your pet just sort of becomes so much more important to you. They're, they sort of become your baby again, and uh, they're just such a part of your family. And when something happens to them, when they pass on, it leaves such a hole in your life, such a void in your life, uh, that uh, it makes you, you know, it's really, it's really hard. So go over to Susan's channel and just say hi to her and uh, watch her video that she did about losing her dog because it, it was such a sweet tribute, and uh, she did a montage of pictures and stuff. It was really, it really touched my heart. Um, so, and also, I wanted to link a video. This is like my video of the week. Uh, I link a video because it really made such an impression on me. Because I love this woman to death. It just, this woman has inspired me so much. Uh, this is, if you are afraid. Of getting older if you're afraid that you're just gonna go to pot that just you know terrible things it's just gonna be so depressing to grow older and stuff like that uh, I'm gonna show this I'm gonna link a video that I want you all to watch of a woman on her 90th birthday and so what she wanted to do for her 90th birthday was to dance so she does and be sure you watch it because this woman is amazing and I want you to look at her figure, her hair, her clothes, everything because it's exactly the way I want to look when I'm 90 years old. She is amazing. It's gone uh, fairly viral so you may have already seen it but if you haven't, please, please go look at this video. I think I, I covered everything I wanted to talk about. Uh, I appreciate everyone watching and I hope if, and Oliver wants to go out. I hope everyone has a wonderful day and a wonderful rest of the week. Bye-bye. Hey, and I wanted to do a little update on um, how I'm going along with my four-way wardrobe. Uh, I've gotten rid of a lot of things. Not gotten rid.